Hello, hello. My name is Rhea, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We are finally going to go head off to the Zora's Domain. I think we're going to start on this. We're going to go to this blue shrine first, though. I had a mark for my underground stuff. And then follow the path, because I kind of like to see what's going on, like if there's any story that I might see or any kind of, you know, stables or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and teleport here and then fly over to... No, go down here. And see if we can find that shrine. And probably change our clothes because we're not in the Yiga clan anymore. Well, we would never were, but you know, we just defeated them, so. <laughs> okay, so I think this one might be underground. If it's right. This looks very cavey. I'm going to go over here and look around here and see if I can find the cave it might be in. I have spotted a bunny. Oh, he is trapped in this stuff. Oh, I need to try and change my armor. I forgot. Okay. Gosh. I don't know if I have enough splash fruit. I need to go collect some more of this stuff. This gunk is everywhere. I probably need to go fight the beast before I try to do all this stuff because it always turns out that when I do that, life gets a lot easier in the area that I'm trying to explore. Ooh. It's very, very, uh, luminous in here. Upland Zora Summit Cave. This seems like somewhere I would hold a shrine. How about you guys? Oops. Oopsie. I knocked those guys out just a little bit. Right, I guess let's take this. Fuse up a... Nope, nope, nope. Use this rock just so I have something to bust this stuff up with. Because you don't want to miss out on some luminous stones. It's not going to last very long, but you know, I can make do. Hopefully they were carrying splash fruit. I really hope they were carrying splash fruit. It just seems like something I'm going to need a lot of. Put that down here so that we can ascend. Oh no, we got underneath it. And okay, I got a little overexcited with my placing. Pull that a little bit closer. Wait, no. And that should be right. There we go. Can I shoot my bow from this little angle? Oh no, let me do that. I was trying to see if I could aim my bow at him and just, you know, give him a little shot. He wouldn't know it ever hit him. Now it's freezing fruit is what it is, which is fine. I will take it. Does this keep going up or something? Another one for the compendium. I didn't see a bubble either. Oh, there he is. I see you. I'm trying to be sneaky. This might not be the right cave, but we got another bubble gem. I'm gonna go ahead and ascend to that though and make sure it's not the right one. Okay, so I went and got one of those little platforms from down there and I'm gonna put it hopefully right under. 
That looks about right. Right there. Is that it? And I don't know where this is going to take me. Maybe to another cave. Maybe... Out. Okay, well, I guess I will go hunt around for another cave. Okay, this looks great. I haven't found another cave, but I'm having a fight with these guys right now. Oh, man. It'd be a good time for a bomberang, wouldn't it, huh? I'm going to be wasting this bow on you guys. If I could actually aim it in the eyes. Thank you, Tulin. You distracted him for me. Don't actually need you right now, read you. Another cave. Oh, I'm seeing something. Follow the beam to its end and offer the crystal there. To do so, I will offer you a light that banishes evil. Good. make a boat. Hopefully. A rocket boat. With fans. I don't want to attach it to that because that will break eventually. Not like right here. Uh. Okay, rocket needs to get in the middle. Thank you. And fan. It's really back heavy, so let's take this and put it in the front. Now, hopefully, my dude will float and get me where I gotta go. Okay, let's give it a try. Well, it's getting us somewhere, isn't it? Okay, let's turn it off. Turn that. Oh no, I broke my whole boat. And sunk my gem. Oh, goodness. Let's take a break. Take a break. Hold on, hold on. Hopefully I can salvage this. No, I went all the way back. Okay, that's fine. That was my own fault. I got overexcited. <laughs> And there we are. I think we made it. So now I just need this. That wasn't too bad. You just had to use your brain and slow down. You know, don't rush it. Here you go. Got you this. And high five. And it seems to be just a blessing shrine. Lovely, lovely. So, see what our blessing is. large Zonai charge. I'll take it. And high five again. Now I'll go back up to that Skyview Tower and um head off to the other friend that I marked. And then we can go ahead and travel the path to see if we see anything exciting. 
Look, while we're here, while we're flying, let's go grab this. Did we already do this one? We might have already done this one. I can't remember what I marked it as if I didn't. A chest? Yeah, I marked it as a chest if I got it already, so. Cool, cool. We'll grab it. We're here. I saw it, so. Might as well. I think I just have to take a picture of these. If I... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, well... Um... I got it down here? Okay. I hope I haven't deleted any of these. No, it would, t it would warn me. That's good. Okay. Well, I got another one. I guess I'm uh, heading this way from here now. I just saw some weird stuff fall from the sky, and I'm assuming it's what's making the water all nasty. That was interesting. It was like, it looked like Dementors from Harry Potter coming down. Interesting. Why are these never where I want them to be? They are never where I want them to be. Well, guess I'll be looking around here for a cave now. You know, little me can't help but think that maybe I have to go through the scary monster thing up here. Because there's a big skull. And it feels very prominent being on top of this mountain. Like it's a big deal. But we can take them, right? We can take them. What's this? Korok seed. <laughs> Love finding these guys. So if we just if we just kind of just go over around kind of quietly, they'll never know we were here, right? Oh no, it's like does it go into the depths? Bone Pond East Lake. Oh, it's right here. I don't even have to go very deep. I don't even have to do much spelunking for this. But I'm going to. I'm going to do some spelunking. It's just a blessing shrine again. Nice. And I think this brings us up to another four, which means we can get another heart. Already. You know, exploring the depths might actually diamond nice. Might actually be really good because it does help us get all of these shrines located so that it would know that it's around here somewhere, right? I don't know. I think it's great. Okay, so let's do a nice little bone pond east cave exploring. Boned Pond East Lake Exploring. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Oh, goodness. Okay, okay. actually, read you. Come here. Hopefully they won't notice the bright, glowing yellow light I'm putting on them. Ready? Ready? Let's try to get its eyeball. No, you didn't, you didn't shock him, read you. Why didn't you shock him? Come on, bud. Oh no. Nothing happened. Really? Come on. Okay. How, how, how is he just going to go back to sleep like that? Like, I'm not electrocuting you. 
Yeah, bro, I'm attacking you. You should be paying more attention to me. These things, because they're so breakable, I'm just using them. Okay, now he knows I'm here. And that was it, because I shocked him so many times, we are completely good. Might as well pick up everything else these guys dropped, too. Oh, let me do that. Sorry, sorry. What this does, this looks like it's important. Let's just see where it ascends to. I know there's a treasure. Hold on. The treasure first. Oh, there seems to be a lot more down here, too. Hmm. Oh, I don't need that. I mean, it's gotta be better than something, though. Here we go. Drop that. Oh, I hear the poofle, too. It's gotta be down there. Oh, there's a dude trapped in here, too. We should probably rescue him. Um. Uh, you want out, sir? Let's get you out of here, bud. There you go. Uh -huh. Thank you, I'm saved. I despaired thinking no one would find me here. You might be wondering how I got here. A fine question to explain, I must tell you about the blood moon. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Thank you. On second thought, you deserve more. Thanks. No, I can't insult you with that pathetically small show of thanks. This too. Thanks. Tonight is a crescent moon. Okay. I know about blood moons. Trust me, I have been caught in my fair share of blood moons. But how do I get down here? How do I get lower? This looks breakable. Can you break this? Can you break? No. This one part of it looks really breakable, but I don't I don't think this is gonna work. No. Hmm. Yeah, that just takes me up out of the cave. Huh. Well, what do I do then? Do I burn it? Nope, that's not it. Oh, you look scary. Stop it. <laughs> Forgot about you guys. another cave to go down, I would assume. That was a purple ruby in there. I didn't know you could break wooden chests like that. Hmm. I guess I'll keep exploring this little camp and see if there's anything else that goes down. Well, here's another cave entrance. Or no, it's just a... It's a puzzle. I can't break them apart. Let's see if I can get you in, whatever that is. Huh. 
All that seems to have done is made me lose it. Oh no. I saw that little light. Okay, well, the only place I can see that it could fit is here. That gave me that. Okay, well, I'm not sure about these. Let's just start heading to Zora's Domain, because we are being very distracted. Let's head over this way. I like to start here, because that's where I start in, start in Breath of the Wild, so. I can always come back and explore this cave more later. Oh no, poor Addison. We must help him. What is with you and doing this in the worst places possible? I mean, if you think about it, eventually, if you throw enough stuff down, it's gonna hold it, right? Like, that should be good. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, I add a pole right there. And one of these. Right there. Now I definitely can't fall down. I give up on you. I'm going. I don't have the patience right now. Doors don't mean this way. Let's go. Let's go. Doesn't that bridge bring back fond memories? A journal. Our journey to Dillard's Domain has gone smoothly so far, but the road ahead is crumbling. It seems our only option is to journey off the paved path. With the sledge slowing us down, it seems like getting there may take a while. I need to hurry and reach Zora's Domain. Finley must be worried. Who's Finley? Who is Finley? This guy looks to have something interesting to say. This is terrible. What is that thick, mucky gunk anyway? Oh, these roads are... Ugh, these... Ugh, and those stones are blocking the road. This isn't good. Many travelers turned back. Of course, they would in this situation. If you're not a bird or a fish, you have to follow the path to get to Zora's Domain. Sometimes all you can do is give up. But I have to get there. Finley is waiting for me at Zora's Domain. I just read your journal. Um, I bet if I clean all this stuff up with... The you know, issue we got going on, I could, could take care of it for you. I could take care of this easy peasy. 
Oh. This would be where those Gerudo bows come in handy. path. I'm not going to let any sledge stop me. Or you. I remember this being so hard last time because it was like lightning and storming and these guys had like extra lightning powers and everything was awful. That's okay. This time it doesn't let you back because you can actually climb. It was raining so you couldn't climb around anything too. You just kind of had to hope for the best. I don't see anything exciting except for these great smudge balls falling from the ground, uh, sky still. You can actually kind of climb through the sludge, you just can't... It doesn't seem to hurt you either, it just slows you down and it's kind of annoying. Oh, are you going to show me another cave? Do I have time for another cave? How far am I from Zora's Domain? I'm right here. No, I'm pretty far. I'm still pretty far. Um. No, I gotta go. I gotta go. Snuck into a cave here, and I found the booble right away, of course. But there's all kinds of other stuff going on too. Oh, no. Things that actually hurt me. Oh, I lost the booble. Oh, they were. Hey. I don't know if there's anything else exciting in here. I just kind of fell in. And I found, but it has a whole bunch of uh, precious gems in here, so. Might as well, right? I remember on this bridge, well, yep, it's here still. Last time um, you were talking to a dude and he was like, hey, it's Link. And then all of a sudden you turned around and that guy was coming at you. See, there's that stuff that's falling down. It's everywhere. Oh god, it's really bad here. It's kind of an eyeball, though. I knock you off. And I don't mind that I knock you off, don't get me wrong, but... That was easy enough, right? Why is there a fish on their claymore? I mean, okay. Okay. Probably should have taken a picture of him. Oh, I always forget until, like, he's gone. This is going to be really hard to traverse because of all the sludge. Okay, the last leg of the journey, and I kind of just skipped a bit of it. Because I was tired of fighting everybody. Oh, man, a lot of stuff falling everywhere. Well, we have made it to Zora's Domain. I think we'll do this shrine and then probably cut it. I don't know how long this one's going to be because I did have to cut out a lot because it was a lot of running around and fighting little meanies. So, I like this one's a little short, but I guess it also depends on how long this shrine is, huh? I'll have to conveniently place the ladder just in case. Thanks, guys. High five. Magawak Shrine.
The power of water. Oh, am I getting some new water devices? Do I need to fill this up? What is this about? What is this about? a treasure chest down there too. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do, but I'm assuming when water has to touch it. Or it has to be moving. I see. Okay, okay. I see what I'm supposed to do now. So you just gotta get a little, a little explanation for me, and then I can figure it out. If I give it a little boost, will it? There we go. I don't know what that did, but I got this. You can always use these. We'll get rid of my boomerang. I've had some fond memories, but let's go here. Oh, whoa. Let's not mess with that. This does something too, though. But then you can't cross the water. Oh, I see. You gotta be fast. Okay. Let's do that. First, let's make sure they're not close enough. Then let's. Ah. I'm gonna lock me in here, is it? refill it and then I guess that's the way out looks like it this was a cool one I bet this is probably getting me ready for the puzzles in the big boss bay like place the temple oh man that was gonna be fun to start without me so I'm gonna place it like this right there we go there we go make it all the way up make it all the way up hey uh, high five okay well that's gonna do it for us this time next time we will go and talk to people see what's going on see if we can find the find the dungeon that we're going to be doing this time and see what other kind of little things they got going on in Zora's Domain. Find out why the water's this color. I feel like it has something to do with all that sludge coming down from the sky. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to go ahead and subscribe, this has been Raya and I will see you guys next time. Bye.